Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. It is National School Safety Week, and joining us uh, for their communications and media coordinator, Valerie Powell. Great to have you back on the show. Okay, so a big week, and this is the best time to, I guess, to get uh, education, awareness uh, out about key things that are affecting our children in schools. Is yeah, that right? Exactly. Biggest focus right now is on getting them out the door properly. Yeah, it, there's such a rush in the morning that you know people are all over the place. They're not really thinking about what they should eat, and kids should be having a well-balanced breakfast before they go off to school. Is this something that teachers are noticing? Of course, I mean there's so many s studies on, on getting in the proper nutrition, but that this is something that you really want to focus on as you're heading into this week to focus on. Yeah, we we decided to go the health route this week because you know you see it so much in the media that the kids aren't eating before they go to school kids are falling asleep in class you know they're there to learn so with a proper nutrition and breakfast that they'll be able to be there to learn to stay awake in class and take it all in there are some uh, some suggestions that you're you're trying to get through and you brought us a couple of products that, yes. are, that you're saying at least get these into their systems before they head out the door yeah a well-balanced breakfast means at least three of the four food groups of Canada's food guide so I just have a few things here as examples of what you can mix and match so you can have your grains a cereal or bread or oatmeal. Um, they have a lot of flavored ones these days. I know I don't like plain oatmeal, but this one's really good. Um, also, you want your, your dairy, so even chocolate milk, milk, yogurts. Um, and also fruits, so there's berries as well, but I have some apples and orange juice here. And those are great things to just combine, mix and match in the morning. And also you can have your proteins, like an, like an egg. So just try and get at least three of those food groups in. Three of the four, how much emphasis is put on educating the students and having them be involved in the activity of making or consuming their breakfast? Yeah, I mean, it's great to have the, the children and the parents just talk about what they want for breakfast. I mean, maybe some Something a kid doesn't like um, take that out you can always substitute it with something else and just work together on you know a great uh, balanced meal in the morning what else over the course of the week are we going to be looking at in terms of this uh, safety school the, the council over the course we're in different topics or a lot of it based on the health needs of the students it's basically just just based on making sure that these kids get a well-balanced breakfast because it is busy in the morning so ensure that you're waking up even just 10-15 minutes earlier just to, to try and get them to get this breakfast I know it's very hard in the morning but there are other options like making a smoothie a night before ahead of time for them so that you have your fruit your you know protein powder in it and milk and mix it all up and they can drink it to go uh, there are different websites that you're looking at for people to check in if they're looking for ideas looking for further information yes. uh, and of course what can people find out this at the uh, the school we have Canada Safety Council that's the website yeah if you go to our website there's just more information on this and some ideas of what parents can do and make ahead because you don't always have to have breakfast for breakfast you could have pizza for breakfast uh, healthy homemade pizzas for breakfast so if they go to our site they can see a few more ideas and there's also breakfast for learning .ca. yes same same concept yeah just it go there and they have and it's all just about breakfast so parents can learn some more yes and then eventually hopefully they get them out I, I understand I'm not there for the kids in the morning mm -hmm. it's enough when I deal with them on Saturdays and Sundays <laughs> just trying to get them in so I can yeah. imagine I know how crazy and hectic it is uh, for people to try to get their kids out but if you can do this you just know that it's expanding into a full day of them paying attention of them having an easier time at school when they've got the proper nourishment mm -hmm. uh, Canada safety council.org or breakfast for learning .ca are the websites you want to check out Valerie thanks for joining us thanks. we are going to take a short commercial break we'll be back to wrap up this edition of CT TV Morning Live right after this.